Howdy folks, Max Mogan here, Jackson Hole Skywatch, October 25th, 2013, 5.58 p.m. Here in beautiful Grand Teton National Park. Simply glorious out here. This is day five in a row without any chemical spraying in our skies. No visible chemical spraying in our skies. And it's fucking awesome. It's beautiful clear skies. You go outside and exercise, you feel like you can breathe, you know, on these really heavy spray days. Am I the only one who gets congestion in my lungs and an ache and a sore throat? And then the next day I've got a sinus infection? I think so. Feeling great. Breathing clean air is nice. You can go out and ride the bike without having to worry about breathing in a bunch of shit. Um, you know, these programs, these spray programs, some are to manipulate the weather. Some, I don't know what the fuck they're for. But I do know that when I was out in California, a lot more often than here in Wyoming, and I was in a very rural part of California, right next to the ocean, uh, no air pollution from industry or traffic, I'd go out and could barely breathe on a bike ride because the spray was so heavy on those days with the big, obvious trails, the low ones, you know? The low ones are bad. The high ones are bad too, but the low ones, it's hard to think that they're doing that to manipulate the weather, you know what I'm saying? Because they just fall rather quickly. But we're in Jackson Hole, no visible chemical spraying in our atmosphere in five glorious days. It's pretty sweet. This is how it's supposed to be, guys. This is high pressure. You know, this is the, the weather that makes it cold enough in the winter. These high pressure days without a cloud in the sky are the ones that make it cold enough to kill the pine beetles. Okay, if they're spraying, we've got artificial cirrus layer up there warming our atmosphere, causing greenhouse warming. We're not getting that many super cold nights. Those cold, clear, incredible nights when it hits 20, 30 below. The nights that kill the beetles. Now, beetles ain't the only thing killing our trees. Uh, it's rust, you know? Different fungal infections, different parasites in addition to beetles. And I'm pretty sure that that's a byproduct of geoengineering as well. Because the same neurotoxins that we're breathing, the trees are taking up in their roots. And a tree, unlike a human, has a very, very long nervous system. So it gets jammed up at the base, that tree can't communicate throughout the entire organism, and it becomes susceptible to disease. Think about it, my friends. Take care, one love, thanks for listening to this. Distracted driving at its finest, but in my defense, there ain't nobody out here. I'm on a bike path. Big thanks to the Elk Refuge and the National Park Service for reopening all this stuff. It's great. One love.